Guys, make sure you're tuning in every Monday through Friday at 7.30 Eastern Time PM to the Sneak and Geek Live where you can interact with me and my audience on TikTok, Twitch, or YouTube. All right, I look forward to seeing you there. On to the next story. Before we move on, this this week and the next, we're going to be pushing engagement uh, uh, more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, because we want to continue to foster growth on the channel. We want to continue to, and, and it seems like somebody at YouTube might have pushed that button to put us in YouTube timeout. So you hitting the like button and, and you know dropping a comment would be the best thing to push these videos out into the algorithm. Uh, like I said before on Monday, yes, we hit 5K subscribers on YouTube, but uh, the, the, the videos have been strangely uh uh down in every metric so make sure you hit the like button turn on your notification bells and subscribe to the channel all right uh shout out to honey who's in the chat shout out to reed and shout out to matthew fossey matt matt i'm sorry matt you have to start a clothing line <laughs> i mean you have to start a clothing line with that last name bro i'm sorry i'm gonna ride as long every time i see you in the chat I'm going to ride your last name until you start a clothing line or something with that last name. Matthew Fosse. Hey, what's that, bro? What you got on, man? I just got some of that new Fosse at the uh, mall. Shit's expensive. <laughs> oh, word? Yeah, some Fosse sneakers, some a Fosse shirt. Got on the Fosse hat. I'm fosse all the way out. Tripped out, you know what I'm saying? What you got on, man? What, baby girl? Where you get that dress from? Oh yeah, this that new Matthew Fosse. <laughs> That's that. Do, does that not sound expensive to y'all? I'm wearing Matthew Fosse, man. If you don't start a clothing line, uh, a makeup line, or something. All right, okay. So <laughs> let's get into it. Ant Man and the Wasp allegedly cost Marvel a hundred and twenty five million dollars holy uh this comes from our friends over at bounding in the comments um admittedly yeah i know i like my friends over at bounding into comics but man bounding is starting to get real suspect bounding is starting to get real suspect and you know how we always talk about the left but bounding is like too far to the damn right. These people be these people on the Twitter account be responding to people telling them to repent for their sins, and they be they be tweeting out Bible verses and stuff like that. And I'm like, I mean, listen, listen. I, I I'm all I'm 100. I'm all for religion, but come on, bro. You got to know who your audience is. A new report claims that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania lost Marvel Studios and the Walt Disney Company north of $125 million. This new report comes from YouTuber and box office analyst Valiant Renegade, who took a look at the box office financials for the film following the end of its theatrical run. According to the numbers, the film grossed $213.7 million at the domestic box office and another one hundred, another two hundred and fifty million at the international box office, for a global gross of four hundred and sixty-four. It didn't even reach five hundred million, ladies and gentlemen. What? Now hold on. Now we gotta, we got we gotta take a look at, we gotta take a look at uh, uh Guardians, because I thought Guardians made three hundred million already. Ooh. Uh, honey says Valiant Renegade is a good source. Okay, cool. What's the matter with you? What's the total? Okay, so Guardians of the Galaxy is already approaching three hundred and fifty million worldwide. So, and that's and it's and it's it's still the first week. We still on the first week. So Guardians of the Galaxy is doing, a lot of people was trying to compare uh uh Guardians of the Galaxy to um Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And I was like, man, I don't know if it's gonna be that bad. And so if if Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania uh um 
grossed um what what was it four hundred and what mm, four hundred and sixty four yeah guardians is gonna pass that so guardians ain't gonna flop that bad but holy so uh looking at the international box office the film grows just shy of forty million in China woo -de -woo -de -woo, yeah yeah we get all that Looking at these financials, Valiant Riddingay explains why he believes the, fil the film lost north of $125 million. First, he explains how much of the uh, gross Marvel Studios and the Walt Disney Company are taken from various box office. In the domestic box office uh, on a movie of this scale, about 55% of that domestic revenue gets returned to the distributor uh, from the international not including China, it's about 40% in this day and age, and a lot of that has gone down a little bit thanks to a uh, foreign currency exchange drag, meaning foreign currencies on average are buying fewer U.S. Do dollars than they were a year or two ago, largely due to um, inflationary pressures. Uh, he then takes this information and applies it to Quantumania's box office return, saying, using $214 million at the domestic bo uh, box office, that's about $118 million that goes back to Disney, on the international side, removing the forty million haul from China itself, that puts at puts it at about two hundred and twelve million in the international retail, and eighty five million of that goes back to Disney. Damn, China itself of the forty million dollar box office, about ten million returns to Disney. Yikes! That means that all total Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Media brought home uh, to Walt Disney Company and Marvel Studios somewhere to the tune of two hundred and thirteen million dollars. He continues, and that, of course, would not pay for any of the massive marketing campaign that this movie would have in, uh, engendered? In, engendered? What the hell? I've never seen that word before. Usually, y'all, <laughs> Reach. Reach. Re Reach is my thesaurus, y'all. Like he, he be sending me words and stuff that I can't. I ain't never seen that. Uh, usually these types of Marvel films, especially big blockbuster films in general, usually tend to command somewhere on the order of close to 150 million in addition to uh, expenditures by uh, distributors to actually sell these products uh, uh, to the general public. That would mean that Ant-Man um, Quantumania at the very least lost somewhere in the 125 million, maybe at highest 150 million range, and that is uh, Boondoggle and that is the boondoggle for the Walt Disney Company and the Marvel Studios. And it's one of the many that they've had in phases four and five. I mean, listen. You tell me. I mean, we know that the budget was at least $200 million. $200 million and then that's not accounting for, once again, the, 100, the $150 million for marketing purposes. It flopped. And we told y'all it was going to flop. And people kept acting like people in my comments on TikTok was talking about, oh, no, nah, it did this number at the box office. It did this. It did that. No, it didn't, bro. It flopped. It flopped. And here's, and here's the thing. This, what, this movie, like Ant-Man and the Wasp, wasn't even that, that woke. I mean, they had that, you know, that Antifa blunder in there. But it wasn't even that woke. It just wasn't good. And quite frankly, let me tell y'all something. Marvel became a little arrogant when they made Guardians of when they made Guardians of the Galaxy and they felt that they could turn any character into a golden egg. But the simple fact of the matter is that I'm starting to believe that Guardians of the Galaxy was as good as it was because of James Gunn. James Gunn just understood those characters and he understands how to make a good movie. And you're losing James Gunn to DC. This is why I'm a little bit more excited about DC now because James Gunn knows what he's doing. And I know that the average person doesn't understand business. So I, I understand, like, I'm, I'm willing to let him take his lumps. Reese says, I do not know uh, that one. Give me a minute in gender <laughs> cause or give rise to filling a uh, situation or condition the issue engendered uh continued controversy i suppose i never seen that word before but um uh but yeah though uh
so so basically marvel when they made guardians of the galaxy they felt that they can make any character any movie any show and turn it into uh a golden egg and it's not true it's just not true it's not true and so and, and listen ant-man is cool but it's ant-man it's ant-man and i'm gonna be honest with you i'm starting to believe that people are sick of these buffoonery characters every character is the same besides from t'challa besides from t'challa uh uh steve rogers and tony stark every male character in the mcu is a bumbling idiot Is a bumbling idiot. Thor. The Hulk. Idiot. Ant-Man. Idiot. Who else? Uh, Doctor Strange is straight. I mean, everybody's just a, a, a freaking idiot. Uh, the Falcon isn't necessarily an idiot, but he ain't necessarily the, the, the most serious either. So, I don't know. We're gonna move on, though. We going to move on. Because, uh said everything we need to say let's go let's go make sure you guys are following me beat that thing down like you started attention my baby you had some plans with your man just tell him to cancel my baby slide to the crib like dracula's mansion my baby when you pull up it's on action my baby